That's never happened before. Ooh, the tube's thicker than I thought it would be. Just watch, I'm gonna be the 8% who doesn't have more curls. Hi guys, welcome to Emory Lane. <laughs> Where my goal is to find you the best beauty products for the best prices. And in today's video, I'm so excited. We're gonna be doing a dupe battle between the new Rare Beauty Universal Mascara versus what I think possibly could be a dupe, the Maybelline The Fall Season Mascara. We'll go into details of why I think it could be a dupe in just a second, but let's just get into it. So I'm going to curl my lashes. Normally, I perm my lashes at home, but it is time to do it again. They're sticking straight out again. And before I did that, I wanted to test out these mascaras. So I waited to see how well either of them hold a curl. I have not tested this one to see how long it holds a curl before. So it's been a new experiment. I think I'm gonna do the Maybelline on the right and the Rare Beauty on the left. Let's get this baby out of the box. Oh, the tube is thicker than I thought it would be. Beautiful packaging though. Okay, I wanted to compare real fast what the brushes look like. They're so similar. I mean, the Maybelline Maybelline curves in a little bit more towards the center, but like the rare one, the length of the bristles and the shape on top, and even what, how the formula sits on the brushes is so similar. Also, when I was watching TikToks about this new mascara and I saw how it looked on people's lashes, I was like, that looks so similar to the Maybelline one. Here we go. So according to Sephora's website, this is a universal mascara with a unique eye-hugging brush to lift, lengthen, curl, and volumize every single type of lash. It has castor oil for conditioning, softness. It is a weightless, easy to build formula with a multi-length brush made to give every lash or lift, curl, length, and volume. <laughs> so in clinical studies, 100% of all lash types had more length and volume, 95 had more lift, and 92 had more curl. Just watch, I'm gonna be the 8% who doesn't have more curl. It's pretty. And it goes for $20 on Sephora's website. So not like the worst price ever for Sephora, but definitely not drugstore. Okay, move to the Maybelline side. Oh, they're similar. Yep, they, they're similar. Okay, and then according to Amazon, this Maybelline mascara gives volume, definition, length, and curl. It is fiber infused. The double curved brush grabs onto lashes from root to tip for lift, thickness, and length. No clumps, no smears, no flaking, and it's perfect for all lash types. Okay, there's one comb. And it goes for $8.99. It is currently on sale if you're watching this right after it comes out for $7.69 on Amazon. I think the Maybelline one might have made my lashes just a little bit longer. Oops. Ignore the mascara all over my lids. I'll clean that up in just a second. They look so identical. Like what? I'm speechless. I was not expecting this much of a similarity. That's a word. I had to think about that. Like they're the exact same, basically. Here's a really awkward angled close up of the lashes kind of from underneath a little bit because like they both give some lift, but like I said, my lashes like go straight out. So I am in like the 8% that didn't see as much like lift and curve, but it does better than most mascara. They apply similarly. They make my lashes like I'm almost like the exact same. They feel the same. They feel really weightless. So I'm going to clean up things a little bit and I'll be right back. It's currently 11-11. Make a wish. <laughs> That's never happened before. Out of all of the times I filmed, this has never happened before and it just changed to 11-12. Are you so proud of me for getting ready on a Saturday before noon? How many times I've documented getting ready on Saturday? I'm trying to remember the last time that happened. But anyways, I am going to go about my day. We're going to test to see if my lashes fall at all, if it flakes, it smudges, how well they hold up all together. Obviously, like there's not much you can do besides adding a lash primer and obviously I didn't add that, but you know, didn't add any setting spray. They're on their own as much as possible. Halfway through the day, I'm going to do a check-in and natural lighting outside as long as it's not raining, because right now it is. <laughs> we'll see how things are holding up, and then obviously stay to the end of the video to see what happens, because so far, this is the best dupe ever. I am so excited, and I will see you in just a second. My goodness, my the wind is making my baby hairs crazy. Okay, so here's what everything looks like. More awkward angles. So it's been six hours and everything is holding up really well. There's no flaking, smudging. I forgot to tell you, if you're new around here, you might not know. I get the worst like eyelash marks on my lids because because I have like slightly hooded eyes and so I get transfer all the time. There are very few mascaras that don't transfer on me anymore. So that not having on either side is awesome. Curl wise, I think they've both fallen a little bit, but like I said, I have really stubborn straight lashes. I really think I'm in like the 8% that didn't see it help curling. <laughs> Funny story. Okay, so when I was talking to my sister after I finished putting on the mascara, oh my goodness, this baby hairs. I was like, look at these, look at my lashes. Like, don't they look so good? She's like, yeah, they look great. And then she remembered it was Saturday. She's like, are you filming two different with two different mascaras? Cause I 
can't tell. And I was like, yeah, they are. And she's like, okay, let me look really, really close. And she got up like super close. And she's like, I think I like this one a little bit better. I can see like a tiny bit of difference. I like it better. If you don't remember, this is the maple inside. Super exciting. Can't wait to see if anything changes or if like this is the most amazing dupe ever, but then this is all just awesome mascara. So I'll see you in just a second. It's currently 11.24 and this is like an out of the ordinary day because I started and I'm finishing a video in the same day. Normally it's like 1 or 2 a.m. What is my life? It's because it's starting to get cold outside. I want to go to bed earlier. Anyway, time for a nice close-up and time for another awkward angle video to finish out the night. I feel like both sides are starting to lose like little tiny, 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 tiny chunks on the very, very ends and you can kind of see it around underneath my eyes. It's just little, little baby, baby, baby. So there's just like two of them on each side. It's not bad at all. Unlike my hair, which is a disaster. I feel like the Maybelline sides, it's getting too late. I feel like the Maybelline side is a little bit more lifted still. I also talked to someone else and the exact same conversation happened with them as it did my sister where they're like, wait, you're not wearing the same mascara on both eyes. And then they really studied it and they're like, this one's a little bit better. <laughs> no transfer on the lids for either of them. Hallelujah. Always the best news ever. Definitely fell throughout the day, but I am in the 8%. It's 8% right. For sure, I'm in the 8% that didn't see their lashes lifted and curled. I mean, it's a beautiful mascara. So if you want to spend $20 to say you got Rare Beauty, go for it. Like it's your money. If you're not into that, <laughs> highly recommend Falscara because it's actually slightly better, but you're getting almost the exact same look. The exact same. It's not vegan though, which the Rare Beauty one is. That's a draw drawback for some people, I know. But, but I know for a lot of people, especially if you clicked on this video and you saw it was Maybelline, it's probably not a drawback for you. Both great mascaras. And I'm excited I can say that I've tried this mascara officially. If you wanna see a video comparing the Rare Beauty blush to another Maybelline dupe, you can click right here. I'll link everything I talked about in the description box below. Some of those products are affiliate links, so I do get a small percentage of the portion if you use my link to buy the product, but it does not affect you in any way. I love you guys so much, and don't ever forget that you are enough. Bye. Mwah.